Hugh, congratulations on the Thank Emmy you, nomination. Friend. Thank you. That education, a great film. How does it feel to get such recognition? And also, how does it feel to be nominated? You know, I'm an actor. We don't really care about recognition. I'm kidding. Uh, you know, if <laughs> um, it feels great. It, it, I, I, it was such an amazing team. It was such an amazing experience. Everything from the moment I said yes to it to the movie coming out felt great. So this is purely icing on the cake. And uh, it feels it's a nice way to wake up. Now. So I know that you and Ryan Reynolds have like a friendly um, rivalry, if you will. Is he going to be upset about your Emmy nomination? Oh yeah, I, I, I predict three days in bed. I don't think he'll get out of bed for three days. But actually, I think Blake will be happy with that. <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, can you imagine? Can you yeah. imagine quarantine with Ryan? I mean, yeah, no, you're right. You're right about that. But, but he, did, um, he did like offer a 5K reward for somebody's teddy bear. So does that make him a good guy or is he just doing that to, 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 to you know, hype himself up? He's an actor. <laughs> And ask yourself the question, when he did this nice thing, did yeah. he get a lot of attention for it? Were there a lot of headlines about it? I'm just wondering. That makes just, sense. That makes sense. Fair enough. Just musing. Now, um, this year is going to be different, of course, the virtual experience. Um, is it still give you the same type of buzz? Are you going to get dressed up? Are you going to be in your pajamas? Like, what, what are you going to do? <laughs> from, the, from the waist up, definitely getting dressed up. <laughs> I can't promise you the downstairs. Um, <laughs> But unlike at the awards, and I've been to a bunch of awards and I've hosted a bunch of awards, there will be food and drink readily available to me. <laughs> so in that way, it's going to be easier. But it's, it's a shame not to come together because in the end, it becomes a celebration of the industry and people come together. And people do actually forget about the winning and losing part of it. It's like a chance to come together. And that's, that's something that we're going to miss. However, you know, this is not the most important thing going on in the world right now. There's right. really important things going on. And so we've just got to be safe, put everything in perspective. Speaking of uh, COVID-19, um, how, how has it been for you and Deborah? You guys have been together, what is it, 24 years? Yeah, um, we're coming up on 25. Yeah. I know this time it's either going to bring you closer together or <laughs> you're going to be uh, button heads. So um, well, how have you guys been holding up? Closer. We just said literally my wife is dancing behind the camera as we speak. But in all truth, even if she wasn't here, closer. But I actually don't think, we were just saying the other day, we've never spent this much time together. But having this time without either of us working, being with the family, we've had this opportunity to be together and the, uh, yeah, the results are in, closer. Now you have a couple of projects that are in pre-production. Um, so what do you have coming up? What's next for you? The next thing for me is I'm going to Broadway when Broadway opens. So I was meant to start rehearsal now. Uh, that's been pushed till um, uh, February rehearsal. And so come February, hopefully we'll be rehearsing and back on Broadway May 20, we open with the music man. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.